What's up, NCTI friends? Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk presented by NCTI. This series allows us to check out the latest in broadband tech and talk to you about it. NCTI does not endorse any of the companies or products that we highlight. These videos are strictly for your entertainment and to present technology if it's cool and may be useful in the broadband space. All products presented in these videos are gifted or on loan and may be highlighted within NCTI curriculum. Today's very special episode is about this guy, Net Alley's G3 Pro Kit. So here is what you get when you receive the AirCheck G3 Pro Kit. A quick start guide, product activation card, and compliance guide. A tri-band directional antenna with instructions. USB spectrum analyzer. Various power supply adapters and power cord. The AirCheck G3 Pro Unit, holster, and instructions. And a NetAlly branded shoulder bag for keeping all of your NetAlly goodies safe and secure. Okay, so I should first point out that this little compact unit here has a ton of functionality, but I know that this video is not gonna cover all the nuances that this guy can do. And because of that, I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description uh, so that you can further check out those features that of, of each different test that I'm gonna kind of showcase today. Just know that I'm gonna miss some stuff, I'm sorry, but I have to make it like watchable, people's attention spans, you know what I mean? All right, so, I'm gonna start off, I got about four observations uh, that I wanna kinda highlight before I kinda dive deeper into each test that this thing can do. The first thing is I love its compact size. I mean, this is my hand. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty big guy, I'm 6'4", but like, you know, my hands are not huge. But if you could kinda look, even on the side, this thing fits beautifully in my hand. It feels rugged, the, the, the little the carrying case that, ha that it has on it, you know, that you can take on and off. Uh, it, it feels like you could toss it around. It won't break. It has that feel, that signal level meter. If you're if you're an old HFC guy or if you're a cable guy and you have a meter out there, it has that meter feel to it. it has that really great kind of like, I could feel like I could hold this when I'm walking around doing my test. It doesn't feel like I'm, you know, gonna my arm's gonna go dead or anything on it. So the second thing uh, that I want to point out uh, that this is much more than just a passive Wi-Fi scanner. This thing straight out of the box can do active scanning and performance validation. So my third observation is Link Live. This unit can back up to the cloud and to Link Live, which can be uh, accessed any via any web browser, your cell phone, tablet, computer. And so let's just say you're out in the field and you are looking at something and you quite don't understand what's going on with it, uh, and you call up your supervisor or manager and say, hey, check it out, I, I don't know what I'm looking at, can you take a look? They can log in into the unit if they have the credentials set up, and they can actually look at, live with you at what you're looking at. So the same screen will pop up on their screen. A little bit of a lag, I noticed, but not much. Or if like, let's say you're checking out some of the other features in here and you've uploaded a test to there and you want them to look at that and give you the next steps that you need to go down, um, you could do that as well. So link live. And I believe it's free with the unit. If there's no subscription or monthly cost to it, uh, but if there is, I, I apologize ahead of time. The, la the, the, the last thing, so like the fourth thing I wanna uh, point out on this is that this has got a ton of functionality, right? On top of that, the thing that caught my attention most is there's an application on here called AirMapper. It's a post-survey tool for when after you deploy Wi-Fi access points to see what's kind of going on in that environment. Um, it's pretty neat, I'll talk about it here in a little bit, but I'll tell you that th that's probably the thing that got me the most excited about this is being able to actually um, put it into an environment where you can dot down data points just by having a uh, uploaded PNG or JPEG of a floor plan or of a, of, a, of a home or whatnot. And you could actually go through and validate all the points in the house. And then there's all these filters you could add into it. I'm stealing the thunder of AirRapper. We're gonna talk about it later. So let's move on to the next part of this video. The first test we see is auto test. Auto test is a pass fail test that quickly assesses the Wi-Fi network configurations and services you are signed into. This test has numerous functions that can be manually adjusted to capture exactly what you need to see. Numerous profiles can be added to accommodate various Wi-Fi scenarios. These profiles can be organized into profile groups that run with a one button validation test and or set up to monitor periodically to capture measurements throughout different points in time. AutoTest also captures air quality measurements that test for channel utilization, 
co-channel and adjacent channel interference. Moving on to the ping TCP test. This test runs a ping or TCP test through a chosen site, allowing you to monitor connectivity changes. The ping test is an important test because it's a good way to gauge how responsive an internet connection is. It can also help with diagnosing issues with routing, latency, or congestion. In this case, we're attempting to ping google.com. The test will run as long as I let it. When happy with the result, I'll hit stop to review the results. Ping speeds are measured in milliseconds. Ping results may vary, but generally speaking, a ping result of 50 milliseconds or better is preferred. Lower ping measurements indicates good latency, which will make your kids happy when playing video games. Capture is the next test. Packet capture is the process of recording network traffic in the form of packets as data streams back and forth over Wi-Fi connections. This test will help in analyzing network problems, debugging client-server communications, tracking applications and content, ensure that users are adhering to administration policies, and verifying network security. Once the capture settings are configured, hit start. The test will end when the file size limit is met. In this case, the file size limit is one megabyte. This can be customized to any file size amount. When done, you can save your capture for later viewing or analysis through Wireshark or any other third-party packet analysis application. Next up is Discovery. This application is exactly what it says. It discovers all the devices on all the networks within range of the G3. You can then sort these devices by their attributes, such as device type, name, and associated network. You can then filter your findings to group by SSIDs, frequency bands, channels, and authorized devices. There's a lot of information here to sort through and a lot of side functions that can be accessed through the discovery function. I'll leave a link below for more information regarding this test. Wi-Fi. This has some fun capabilities. The part of this test that I really like is that this is the only test on the G3 where you can locate a Wi-Fi device, name it, and set its authorization all while either utilizing the default internal antenna or through the external tri-band antenna. The external tri-band antenna is better in large open areas and seems to locate devices quicker and more precisely. I had a lot of fun sorting through my home network, renaming my devices and authorizing them. It allowed me to see my devices in real time and the corresponding AP they were connected to. The Channel Maps feature shows channel utilization with AP coverage and overlap in all three frequency bands. I like to have the Overlap tab in split screen to also view spectral information to get a better idea of channel utilization with a view of the SSIDs and the residing frequency and channel usage. Adding utilization on the same screen of network placement will help you better understand the Wi-Fi environment you are working within. Speaking of spectral info, let's look at the Spectrum function. The Spectrum function is a good test to visually see live dual-band Wi-Fi spectral information. Here you can view not only signal strength and noise, but also channel utilization in both the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency bands. There are three views that are displayed here. The first is the Frequency Spectrum Heat Map, which shows live utilization, signal strength, and noise. Second is the Waterfall View, which shows you channel utilization over time. This view allows you to see intermittent noise popping in and out of the spectrum. I like to think of the heat map view as if you're looking at the spectral information head on and the waterfall view as if you're looking down on the spectral information. Of the two views, I would say that the waterfall view is probably the most useful. The last view is the real time view. This test allows you to view live readings, an average of all readings, and the max hold at the highest readings. I should note that the frequency spectrum and real time tests both display where Wi-Fi networks reside. Oh yeah, and one more thing, in case you don't know, channel utilization colors range from blue to red, kind of like a rainbow. Blue and green indicate low utilization, while yellow and red indicate higher utilization. All right, well the last two tests that I wanna go over before moving on to AirMapper are gonna be iPerf and Path Analysis. Path analysis combines layer two and layer three measurements by tracing the connection points, including intermediate routers and switches between the AirCheck G3 and a destination URL. This is a powerful tool for ensuring a frame is taking the desired path through the network. iPerf is a performance tool used to measure UDP or TCP throughput and loss between the G3 and an iPerf server endpoint, either located somewhere else on the network or through a NetAlly test accessory, which acts like an iPerf server endpoint. And that brings me to AirMapper. AirMapper is a site survey tool that performs indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi analysis, which then can be uploaded to LinkLive for further evaluation. 
to perform this evaluation, you must first upload a PNG or JPEG file of a floor plan, or if you don't have one, take a screenshot from Google Maps. Next, you specify the dimensions of the floor plan, as well as the other settings like dwell time and passive or active survey modes. So let's hit start and begin plotting our data collection points. The first data point collected usually takes the longest to log. You'll notice when you tap on the floor plan, the circle is red. Once it is green, you can proceed on with your other measurements. Tap away until all data points are collected and upload to Link Live to check out your findings. Well, I really enjoyed this unit. Um, I gotta tell you, uh, I spent about a month with it playing around, not only doing site surveys in my own home, but uh, going back to Colorado and doing site surveys in our, in our main office. Just know I really probably only covered 10% of what this unit can do. If you were to download the user guide and get through like the glossary and get through like the table contents, it's 641 pages of information on how to use this unit. And they've got you covered. I mean, if you don't know how to use this thing and you already have it or you're, just, or you're doing a couple functions and you wanna learn more, go check out their website, netally.com, and check out the G3 unit. Check out all the tools that they have on there. Uh, there's something for everybody to show you to get the most out of this G3 unit. So my last thing is if you currently use the G3 unit, I would love to know what your favorite features are. Please leave a comment below and tell me what you do with this. Last but not least, I wanna thank you the watchers for joining me today. I know it looks a little different than my old Wired Wisdom videos, but this is kind of the new norm. I'm at my home. I'm, I get to do this at my house now. And I want to thank Net Ally for allowing me, us, NCTI, to take a look at this unit. Every tool that we, comes into our possession, we not only do these YouTube videos, but we put this in our curriculum. This will most likely be in our commercial part of our Applying Wi-Fi course. Go check us out at www.ncti.com. Well, that does it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you slammed that like button ages ago in the very, very beginning of this video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you can see when our videos come out. You'll not only see me, but you'll see my counterpart, David Hoyt. And he does a video called Hoyt Off The Press that you might really love if you are part of our NCTI community. So please check us out. And uh, you know, like I always say at the end of my video, thanks a lot and be safe out there. Thank you.